everybody, my name is Morgan. This is my channel, Pisces Paperbacks. And today in this video, I want to talk about my reading goals for the second half of the year. So I think the best way to start this video is to start with like the general goals and then get like more specific. Um, so my Goodreads reading goal for the year is to read 120 books. I'm currently at 80, so I'm halfway through the year and I'm more than halfway through that goal, but I'm not going to be adjusting that goal um, because I want to put less pressure on myself to read like so much. I read 11 books last month and um, while I felt like disappointed in that, I feel like that's a reasonably, like that's a reasonable amount of books to read in a month for me. And um, cause it lets me read like a, like a large variety, but it's not like too much, you know what I mean? I don't know. So I'm going to keep it at 120 and I'm going to kind of keep the pressure off in terms of like volume um because i know i'm gonna make it to 100 which is really like the coolest goal so it doesn't really matter after that although i i do want to get to 120 and then after that when it comes to genres i honestly want to read more romance like romance is one of my favorite genres we all know this here but um i really don't read it that often and i well i guess i do read a lot of it it's my second most my second largest genre in terms of how many books that I've read this year so far, first being fantasy. But I feel like a lot of the romances I read, I read in like bursts. So I'll like be in the mood for it and I'll read like six at a time. But I'd really like to read them more consistently. So I think that's going to be one of my goals. Um, in terms of genres, I'd also like to read more horror. Um, that's something that I'm really interested in. And it's a genre that I feel like I would really, really like but I barely ever read it. So I don't know what that's about. And then obviously something that's been going on a lot in the world and specifically on booktube is people kind of reevaluating the diversity of the books that they read and how they're choosing the books they read and where they're getting the books they read from. And that's something that I definitely need to work on. I, for some reason I thought that I was doing like a pretty okay job in terms of the racial diversity of the authors of my books, but I started using a spreadsheet to track my books this year. I've never done that before. And on the spreadsheet that I have, just like built into the format, it includes the gender and race of the author. And I was like not going to change anything, so I just kept it in there and I've been entering that information. And I was like really embarrassed once I saw that what the breakdown was, um, about 80% of the books that I had read up to the end of like mid-May were by white authors. And that's like really like pretty embarrassing on, and on my part. And it just shows that like I wasn't putting in the effort and I wasn't like being thoughtful with my books. And that's not something that I want to do. It's, that's not the kind of publishing landscape that I want to support, one that's so overwhelmingly white. So something that I'm going to be trying to do, and I'm not always going to succeed, which is unfortunate, um, especially because, oh, I'll get to that in a second, but I would like to try and match one for one. So for every book by a white author I read, I would like to read one by a, an author of color. And so I'd like to work <laughs> the percentage of books I read by white authors down to half, which is still half, half, like that's ridiculous. And the fact that I even need to like work to get there is embarrassing. And it's something that I want to really be mindful of going forward. Something that is going to make that complicated, maybe not complicated, but um, is that I want to read a lot more of the books that I own. I made a video earlier this year um, talking about all of my unread books. I believe at the time I had around 60 and then um, I, you know, received birthday presents and I started buying more books. So it's probably closer to like 75 books um, that I own that are unread now. And I would like to read, I would like to get that number of unread books down to 40. Um, and the vast majority of those books are by white authors. And it's because I wasn't being thoughtful about the books I was reading. It's because I was just looking at what was being advertised to me and, um, publishing, the publishing paid me hashtag 
shows us that less marketing, less advertising goes into books by people of color. So I need to be more thoughtful about that and really make up for it with the books that I'm getting from my library. And then when, if I like a book by an author of color that I read, buying that book to support that author, to show publishers that, you know, that's the type of books that I want to see published. So I'm never going to be perfect, um, but I'd like to be better. And so that's what I'm really focusing on now. And then another goal, genre-wise, to get back to that, I would like to read more nonfiction. So um, I had planned at the beginning of the year to try to read one nonfiction book per month. And I've so far succeeded with maybe one exception. Um, but I think what with many structural issues coming to the forefront of the public conversation, um, it's more important for me now to focus energy into nonfiction. So I'd like to start reading two to three nonfiction books a month um, instead of just one. And I'd really like to kind of diversify what those nonfiction books are about. Yeah, that's really my plan. Um, I'd like to just read more books in general, more books that I like, more books that make me happy, and um, more books to educate me, and more books to talk about with people, because that's what I love to do. So I didn't really plan this video out. <laughs> you can probably tell. It's just a sit down, me getting my thoughts out type of thing. But um, let me know what you think of my goals. What are your goals for the second half of the year? I'd really like to hear them. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.